Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kat, and because I spent so much time, weeks or even months, on the Cyborg Tank where I read along, I guess I should film a little wrap up of all the other books I read in that time. I reviewed The Reader by Tracy Chi on this channel, and over the past few months I finished the second and third book of the series. The speaker and the storyteller and they were still quite good well, there was a bit of repetition in the third book where she just keeps going on about saving archer saving him saving it's like it's oh, okay girl we understand you want to save your boyfriend we got it it was a bit annoying in that one regard it was probably not exaggerated or anything it was just enough to stand out to me and annoy me a bit but outside of that and a odd breaking of the fourth wall that I could have done without, these were still pretty good. So if you enjoyed the reader, it's totally worth going on with the series. I read The Circle by Dave Eggers, which is not quite a spoof, I mean, spoof or warning if you will, about companies like Google, Facebook, etc. And I just wanted to slap the protagonist so often. Just. Also there's a point after she starts working for this company where she gets a third screen so she can always keep an eye on the social channels of her colleagues so she can like and comment on everything and I was like wow you know come the third or second screen I would probably would have run screaming from this place. But yeah she keeps going and she keeps making daft decisions and just Yes, if you want to read about the dark side of social media and companies collecting data about you, then this might be the book for you. On a side note, I'm quite happy that I finally downloaded Libby, the library app for the London Consortium of Libraries. I think it's what they're called. Anyway, if you have a library card, you can borrow many, many ebooks. They don't seem to have anything of Brandon Sanderson. Or a couple of other things that I was hoping for, so, you know, they're pretty slow on new releases, I think, but... Hmm. I did read a whole lot of Discworld and The Circle in there, though, so that was nice. Since I mentioned Discworld, I blame Dominic Noble and his video about Discworld for this, but I've reread quite a few of them. Well, and two of them were actually new to me. Or if I've read Equal Rights before, then I have forgotten about it, which is concerning. I assume I haven't read it before. So I made my way through The Color of Magic, The Light Fantastic, Sorcery, Weird Sisters, Equal Rights, Pyramids, which is the one I had not read before, We Free Men. Yeah, The We Free Men was the last one, so. There's still many more to go. I'll try to stick to the reading order that the library is suggesting, but I'm not sure it's accurate necessarily. And also you have to borrow what is available. So I'm not sure I need to say much about the Discworld. If you're into fantasy and you haven't picked one of them up yet, you should try one. Like I said, you can also get it in library apps, likely. So Terry Pratchett's writing always amuses me. It's very witty and you can tell that he had a great eye for human behavior. In the books I have read this world the last few weeks, most of them are about wizards and I think they're actually my least favorite group out of all of the recurring characters you get. And they were still good, so. As you can tell by the number of this world novels I went through in the past few months, I'm still enjoying them quite a bit. Now my favorites are still either The Watch or The Witches. And I haven't gotten a single watch book yet in this reading order. I trusted the Amazon suggestions once again and picked up The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin. And this book really makes me want to take her masterclass in world building. Or in general really any masterclass she has to offer. Sounds like it might be worth it because this book was great. And my heart just broke for one of the characters at some point. I don't want to put too many things about the book in here because there are few things you can talk about without adding any spoilers. So. But if you're into fantasy, 
if you like your fantasy a bit darker, if you like to grow attached to characters, then this is a book for you. I think outside of that I only dealt with the Cyborg Tinkra and better reading for Norfolk Huber, so not an awful lot of reading, given the amount of time. But well, it was a slow summer. Let's hope it gets better over the rest of the year. Because now that I'm back to actually putting up reviews again, I need to pick up the speed. <laughs> Let me know in the comments which book was your favorite of the past few months. I think mine would have been the fifth season. It's great, now after the read-along I'm finally back to shorter videos that require less editing. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you want to help the channel out and let me know which book you enjoyed in the past few weeks, months. Bye guys!